It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants, and it's coming up next. On a warm late summer afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The kicker, Brandon Aubrey, is out to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. The Giants offense ready to go to work, and they'll do so behind Daniel Jones in his sixth season now out of Duke. And he's coming off an injury-shortened season where he only played in six games, going one and five over that span, with just three total touchdowns on the year. But the Giants have a lot of confidence in him. They didn't draft a quarterback this year, and they're looking for him to bounce back and prove that last year was an anomaly. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Throwing Jones. He'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And everyone wants a dynamic receiver on the outside, and he may take it to a new level. Slot fade, one of his favorite routes when he played at LSU. And head coach Brian Dayball, he loves the competitiveness that Neighbors brings to the table. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the handoff, running left, Singletary. And he'll take this down to the 33. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 33, here's the second down and six. Now Jones. He's got this complete to Robinson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Singletary again, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. From the gun on third down, Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, 
they were so close, that close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Back to throw, Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Jalen Hyatt from six yards away. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice fast start. Get out after them and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you can get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave. And yeah, we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Well, the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career where he finished as a runner-up in the MVP chase after throwing for over 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions for the first time in a few years. An integral part of the Cowboys' run to the playoffs, he's hoping to take it a step further here in 2024. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 34-yard line, here's second and three. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right. Grease board. Heck, computer. Exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive. Stop them on the first drive defensively. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And back deep, Gunnar Olszewski. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10.
Singletary to get the drive started. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. From the 27, Jones. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. In most pass defenses, the guy playing safety has the ability to roam free and try and go to the football. But when you're in man, you've got to cover just like a guy playing out on the corner. Lock up on the receiver and go to the football. That's exactly what he did, batting that one away. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. In possession switching back to the New York Giants. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and 10. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Off play action, Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Prescott to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. A first down carry by Allian. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. Ah, big-time move there by Kayvon Thibodeau. A talented pass rusher out of Oregon. Had a little bit of a breakout season last year. The next step for him, to stack dominant seasons together. And plays like that will certainly help accomplish just that. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb, 33 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from drawing level. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. That time, a six-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 seven, seven the score as they begin first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Second and nine. Looking to throw. Jones. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. These two teams all tied after one. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. 
On third down, they go with Singletary. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. From the 39, Jones. That one taken in by Neighbors. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Looking to throw, Jones. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Now that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Giants have taken the lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Gano for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A 10-play drive that time. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Yeah, it's not even a question for me. 
The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Here's Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and five. Prescott from the gun. Pass complete to Tolbert on the crossing route. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Inside give to Elliott. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Anytime you hear the term an explosive run, most teams I know define that as any run over 10 yards, and they got that and more. How about a lot of credit for the big guys up front? That offensive line firing out, creating plenty of space, and a big run ensued. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. He's got to complete to Tolbert. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Mark, that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Prescott. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Giants are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Now let's spotlight Devin Singletary as this offense comes back out. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Jones now throwing to start the drive. He connects with Hyatt. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down right after the turnover they come out throwing. 
and that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second and ten. Back to throw. Jones buying time to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm, but he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble, hit second down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Room to maneuver at the 35. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Looking to throw. Jones over the middle, taken in by Neighbors. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That one finds Hyatt. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Jalen Hyatt as the first half is winding down. And the Giants will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point try, good by Gano, and it's now 21 to seven. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From his end zone comes Rico Dowdle. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. It was a terrific first half from quarterback Daniel Jones. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cowboys offense and the veteran Ezekiel Elliott set to go to work once more. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some change? Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Even though he recovered his own fumble, you know how much he hates to put the ball on the ground. He's going to be frustrated with himself. And what do you think the time frame was from the time the ball escaped his grasp to him getting it back. It didn't take that long, right? Right. To him, it probably felt like hours because he's agonizing like, I've got to get this football back. Able to get it done. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. Prescott now. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys are back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Aubrey now for the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. 
The Giants offense and Daniel Jones set to take over again. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. Complete right side to Hyatt. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And third and eight now. Back to throw. Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A throw right side caught by Neighbors. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. All that blown up by DeMarvian Overshone. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Throwing Jones. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Malik Neighbors, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants go up by two touchdowns. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, CeeDee Lamb at wide receiver as he brings out this offense. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here's second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Prescott. That is caught, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. On play action, Prescott. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From just shy of midfield, here's second and three. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And shedding through the tackle. A solid stiff arm. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 59 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 36. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 17-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To throw is Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. Going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That play gets them six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Looking to throw. Prescott. 
out to his left. Able to shake him off. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Cowboys are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Aubrey now for the point after. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Giants offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum is sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. So just three yards on the completion there, and that'll make it second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. A give, Singletary, right side. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, oh, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. And that time, the tackle by Malik Hooker. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Left side, he's got Robinson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give them 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, 
And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Back to throw. Jones. This one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that's going to bring up second down. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. 23 yards, the final tally. That's a nice, explosive play there. And this defense told us we have to have our eyes right on their RPO sets, and they did not have their eyes right. I love that term, eyes right, meaning they have to be in the proper place and read your keys. And a smart-thinking guy running an offense can see when you break down on that, and he took full advantage of it. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Well, this drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions. But they need seven yards here. Operating from the gun, Jones. Touchdown, Giants! seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Gano now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Out of the gun, here's Prescott. This is caught, it's Cooks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. 
My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Now Prescott. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make the play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Prescott from the gun. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Prescott to throw it. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. That's into the hands of Tolbert. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards on the play. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And again, it's Prescott. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Eluding the pressure right, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Giants offense and receiver Malik Neighbors headed on the field, and he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early, and it has paid giant rewards to this stage of the game. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand.
So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's third and six. Now Jones. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. A give up the middle to Singletary. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.